Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, thank you so much guys for the love of the other video that don't get to know me video. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please continue to share. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So guys, um, so this topic today is actually a topic that um, I'm very, very passionate about because, you know, this topic is really out there. It's a big thing out there at the moment and it's been destroying lives, I'm telling you. So I really, really am passionate about this topic and I hope um, by the end of this topic, I get to help someone out there that's going through whatever they're going through guys sorry before i go further i've got my book here you know where i wrote like a few points because you know i don't want to forget anything or leave out anything for you guys so your girl you know got herself a little you know pad to write in so yeah guys back to the video um the topic really that i'll be talking about in this video is um mental health issue depression anxiety stress um you know it's a big thing out there as i said earlier honestly we all face um depression we all face life stress you know we all face issues that you know are not good for our mental health i firstly want to say if anyone you know if you're going through any mental health problems you know if you're going through depression if you feel like everything is too much for you guys please speak up please speak to someone don't suffer in silence okay you can talk to your friends you can talk to your family i know it's hard to talk to you know certain people but you i bet you can you know even strangers out there that there's a, a help helpline you know for you to call and just chat to a complete stranger please 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 you you can have one friend you know that will not judge you or a family member that you can actually actually speak to guys please speak up don't suffer in silence don't let you know your mind and the way you think lead you to doing you know stupid stuff like you are loved you know god created you for a reason just know that okay so please guys please 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 ask for help okay um how to maintain a good mental health first thing i put on my pad here is um to pray about it yeah whether you're a christian or you're a muslim just pray about it pray to god ask god for strength ask god for wisdom ask god for peace ask god to to help you as you're going through you know certain issues in your life just pray 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 about it because honestly we need god we need the grace of god and you know pray and believe that you know god i'm in this situation right now i really need your help you know pray pray about it another thing on maintaining a good mental health is you know as i, I said earlier just speak up you know please speak up um there are so much of help out there just pick up do not suffer in silence okay um, another way of maintaining um a good mental health is to have good relationships around you be it with your friends your family be it uh, your boyfriend your girlfriend your partner your husband your wife you know have good people good relationships around you like this is a very important point guys you know my dad always used to tell me like he still tells me that like like a relationship can make you or destroy you relationships can literally ruin your life and to be honest that is 110 percent correct what he said relationships if you are in a bad relationship trust me so many things are gonna go wrong if you're in a good relationship you notice you glow you're happy you know you put on some weight like your girl is you know looking you know so nice <laughs> like your girl has put on some weight you know i was never like this but yeah having you know um a good relationship so many things it changes in your life you know 
have friends that can be there for you when you're down you know friends that that can tell you how incredible you are friends that can show you how much they care how much they love you how much you're wanted you know friends that that will not judge you i know sometimes it's difficult you know people don't really want to open up to pe to certain people but honestly like you should know the friends that you've got even though obviously we all can't we don't really know people like that people can switch and whatnot whatnot but just you know speak to friends that can you know encourage you and try to get you out of that um that place that you are in so um another thing is having amazing family members you know having amazing family members that are supported are, are supportive of you can help you so so much with your mental health you know with maintaining a good mental health with getting out of your dark place so getting um family members that you can talk to that you can rely on you know goes a long long way helps you through the process you know that understands you you know and that would definitely not judge you i know we all don't like being judged we all don't like um somebody not giving us a listening ear but have one or two people guys that you can actually you know talk to that would help another way of maintaining your good mental health guys bad relationships i'm telling you don't be in a toxic relationship whether again be it family friends boyfriend girlfriend partners husband wife if a relationship is not bringing you peace it's not bringing you happiness it's not bringing you you know joy it's not making you you know why would you want to be in that i know guys it's hard you know when you like really love someone to you know like burn a bridge but at a point you would have to do that because you have to put yourself first because i bet that person is also put, putting him or herself first so you have to put yourself first if you are in a situation in a relationship with anyone that is making you stressed out that is making you to have sleepless nights that is making you to lose so much weight not eat well not looking after yourself well guys that's how you know it. it's not a healthy one try pray to god to give you strength to live okay bad energy should say far far away do not let bad energy come to you guys because it's not good for your state of mind you know there's so much um a person can take you know you can decide to say oh yeah let's see how it goes things will get better da, da, but you would end up breaking down guys okay i'm speaking from experience you will end up breaking down you will end up doing stupid things that you never thought you would have done and you know we don't want that so the best thing is to keep the bad energy far away the earlier you leave guys the better okay the, the earlier you leave the better because at that time you know so much damages wouldn't have happened so the earlier you leave the better like you deserve peace you deserve a peace of mind you know it's it's all right to love certain people from a distance you know you don't you don't have any bad mind against them you don't wish them bad but just love them from afar and then in that way you would have peace um again if your well-being is involved you know cut them off okay um another way of maintaining you know a good mental health this is for my girls the girl them okay so don't put yourself in any situation that would disturb your mental health do not put yourself in any situation that would destroy your mental health don't send pictures to boys do not send nudes to boys girls ah, please do not okay send nude pictures to boys no matter how much they say they love you they can do anything you know don't okay because i've seen situations where that happens at the end of the day the boy start blackmailing you that he's gonna post your nudes out and then child 
that is something that can destroy so many girls that can lead to suicide that can lead to so many depression that can lead to so many things so to prevent that please do not be careful who you send you know boys be careful who you send pictures to okay um developing thick skin okay that's another way of you maintaining a good mental health developing a, a thick skin like it's not everything that people tell you that should make you feel bad about yourself you know who you are you should know who you are so don't let anyone make you feel like you are not good enough okay you are good enough you are wonderfully created by god you are beautiful you are handsome you are awesome okay don't let anyone make you feel like you are trash you are nothing you are everything and more okay and you can do whatever you set your mind to okay you know also it's like you learning from your mistakes okay we all have done terrible things we all have done things that we are not proud of okay no one is perfect so don't don't dwell in just the mistakes that you've done okay learn from them and keep it moving okay don't stay there beating yourself because it's not gonna help okay but if you learn from it and keep it moving you know change it work on it so it doesn't repeat itself that's the best way to handle things like that okay don't give people things to say about you try to work on yourself each and every day to be a better person okay another way of maintaining um, a good mental health is also like you know it's a big thing which is um this social media okay other people's successes should not worry you or make you feel like you are less of a person or you are nothing okay everyone's journey is different everyone's progress is to, is different some people take longer to get to where they're going some people take a shorter while to get to where they're going so don't let all this um the pressure of this world of this social media of people posting things make you feel like oh rah, look i'm 26 then i'm 26 and i'm not married i'm 26 and i'm you know i haven't got the job that i want i'm i'm 30 and i haven't even you know had a family or haven't even gotten a house or whatever do not okay trust your your progress okay people don't you know people don't post their failures people don't don't post their battles people post things that the world wants to see people post when they are happy people post you know when they have you know things that shouldn't make you feel like you know oh yes you can sometimes feel motivated to say oh right look this person is 26 and he's got a house yeah i'm gonna walk towards mine that's fine okay that's fine but don't don't guys don't let people you know what they post on social media make you feel like you are nothing you are something okay you just continue to work hard and be yourself and you see you will get there everyone's destiny is different they say that um I'm not ashamed of nothing I've been through. It might um it might be it, it might have been like a tea for people, you know, for things I've done for people to talk about. But to me, it's a testimony. It's a it's 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 um a journey that I was on that I've learned. Okay, I've learned from things that happen. So I'm not um going to beat myself over my mis over my mistakes, you know. People might talk, oh, da, 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 da. But for me, I've learnt my lesson. I'll work on it and I'll, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay? Work hard. Be yourself. Be diligent. Okay? Ch chase your bag in the right way and you'll see. Yeah? Girls, don't let um, all this you know other girls that have gone through you know surgery or you know things to make you feel like you're not beautiful okay you are wonderfully and fearfully made you're beautiful don't let someone that's gone and now change themselves you know into looking you know don't get me wrong i'm not against them doing that but what i'm saying is do not let that make you feel like you're not beautiful 
and want to pressure you into going to do things like that if you want to do it because you want to do it then yes by all means feel free to go and do it but don't let you know because someone else done it and now you feel like oh you're not beautiful da, 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 da. or because they tell you oh no you're not beautiful look at me that you are beautiful okay we are all beautiful in our own ways yeah nobody's perfect we are all beautiful in our little ways so um another way of maintaining a good mental health is to do something you love you know do 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 something you love go out have a meal with a good person you know go to church go to your mosque you know do things you love to do yeah um so guys this is the end of this video please like comment and subscribe thank you so much for the love from the other video the get to know me video that i've done and yeah thank you so much for your support um before i go the last thing i want to say is um i wrote this down actually so i'm gonna like read it to you guys it says you have to pray to god not to let you get attached to something or someone that he plans to take away from you okay pray to god not to let you hold on to what you need to let go of and you know pray to god not to let you desire things that would eventually destroy you and you know pray to god to let you forget about things that were never meant to be okay so basically guys that's it thank you thank you so much thank you guys see you in the next video peace Got it. Yeah.